Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to be talking about coffee dates and dinner dates and what should a woman be accepting? What should she not be accepting? There's a lot of advice that is going on on the internet today. Um, in my experience and my observation, this advice is often given by single women who do not have success in their love lives and really shouldn't be giving any kind of information, um, but we're going to be talking about that today. Uh, I think there's a lot of information that is being peddled today that is just very incorrect and is actually screwing up women, uh, giving them a lot of false ideas about uh, dating. And one of them is this idea that if a man doesn't invite her to dinner or to a meal, in some way, then uh, she should just next him, no matter what. I'm going to start by talking about myself. If I found out that that was a woman's mindset, and this, by the way, it's not about the money. It's not, it has nothing to do with that. I would next her. Like if I was single, I'm, I'm married, but if I was single, uh, I wouldn't be interested in dating her. I don't date, you know, I, I wouldn't date women who hold on to standards and expectations, okay? Masculinized women, this is really important to understand, masculinized women hold on to these standards and expectations, thinking that that is feminine self-worth, or sorry, that that is self-worth, that they, that they, um, <laughs> that they're a high value woman because they have these specific standards for what to expect from a man, for how they are going to be treated by a man. This is not feminine self-worth, all right? That's actually masculine self-worth, right? If they were a man, that would be fantastic. Men are the ones, masculine men, are the ones that are supposed to have certain standards for how they should be treated by a woman and then lead that woman into treating them in that way. Women need to get really in touch with their feelings. They need to learn how to express those feelings vulnerably. And of course, that's what we talk about in our uh, Polarity Masterclass, um, which, by the way, is blow my face. And so if a man, th th there's a lot that I want to share in this video. So one of the ways that women, I believe, try to stay safe, like, st and by stay safe, I'm talking about like staying this high, this high value thing, the, this concept that they've created for themselves, is to create these boundaries, standards, expectations, whatever that they are going to stick to. And, and part of that is because they don't really trust themselves deep down. They don't really trust their heart. They don't really know how to trust what they are feeling from a man. Because guess what? A man who cares about you or like who, li who likes you, um, you're going to, first of all, you're going to have fun with them no matter what. But two, and this is really important, you're going to be able to feel how much he is into you, like how much value he is putting on you. And when women are disconnected in that way, they will create these kind of rules, dating rules for themselves uh, to be like, oh, look, this man values me because he took me out on a dinner date. All right. Look, a lot of men, and I would actually say most men, can take a woman on a dinner date and she means absolutely nothing to him. Okay. Most men, I'm just talking in general in society, most men are so desperate for a woman's attention, for a woman's care, for a woman's body parts, that he'll do whatever and he will spend whatever to to get that affection to get that time to get uh to, to get her into the bedroom okay it doesn't matter dinner is a completely dinner or meal or whatever is a completely 100 percent arbitrary standard for anything when i met my wife and to be clear this is you know I, I was very different back then in a lot of ways uh so i'm certainly not saying i was the gold standard for how a man should be <laughs> uh 
uh, dating and treating a woman in general. But one of the things that wouldn't really change is when I first met her, uh, I, I, I took her out to, uh, well, originally it was supposed to be a coffee shop, but it was closed. Um, and the reason why, oh, and by the way, I had spoken to her on the phone for, you know, 30 minutes or for maybe 40 minutes, right? So I had vet her already. And I do recommend that guys do that, do that, right? You don't just go into things blind and you ne you've never even had a conversation with a woman because what are the chances that you're actually going to enjoy the conversation? Very little if you actually have standards as a man. And of course, for a woman, I recommend the same thing, right? Get a feel for a man's energy. If you're just going by a man's text, you're putting in a ton of effort almost certainly to be disappointed, right? So you should be having some kind of real conversation on a call, whether that's uh, with um, video or not. But of course, that's not going to be enough, right? It's not going to be enough. And a man, like you got to understand a man's perspective because women have their own perspective of like, oh, this is how a man should treat me. This is how, all these specific standards of how a man should treat, treat her. Masculine men, healthy masculine men are going to be very busy. Okay. They're going to be very much on their purpose and they don't want to waste time and they don't want to be in awkward, uncomfortable situations where they realize it's, it's not going to go anywhere. Now there, I am making some generalizations in this video as I always do. So bear, bear with me here. I don't want to spend two hours with a woman after, you know, if I was single again, and I'm like, I want to find a wife. I want to find a woman that I want to take, that, that I'm going to take care of. Okay. I'm not going to waste two hours or an hour and a half or whatever, however long dinner takes, uh, with a woman who I realize after 15 minutes of seeing her in person or five minutes of seeing her in person or right away or an hour or whatever. Uh, I, I don't want to go through that. Okay. And so I'm going to choose a lower cost, uh, sorry, lower time cost. That's the big cost plays into it as well. Low commitment place so that if I decide that it's not the right fit, that I can move on. But it's more than that. Okay. It's also you know, like back when I did this, back back when I dated and I would, I, I would date in a similar way. It's also for the woman. Okay. Because I know, <laughs> I know how many time wasters, how many men are out there that are not going to be fun for a woman either. And I don't want to put her in a, a really high commitment situation right for the beginning. Now, a lot of dates that I went on, I would take a woman out for coffee and then be like, wow, this woman's awesome. Um, and I'm hungry and Hey, are you hungry? Okay, great. Let's go get dinner. Or let's go get lunch or, you know, whatever time of the day it is. Um, and then that would be fine because now I've actually made that decision because I've met them in person. And of course I'm talking about online dating. If I've met them on the street or, or at a bar or I don't know, a friend like social circle or whatever, it's a little bit different because you've already met them in person assuming that it's been for more than a couple minutes, you should have a good idea of, of whether you want to continue a longer conversation as well. I'm going to go back for a minute. By the way, if anyone has any questions about this, go ahead and ask. It's got to be about this topic. I'm not going to talk about anything else. Going back to this idea of being able to feel a man's interest is so important because so, so going back to the arbitrary standard, right? Oh, a dinner date. Okay. He likes me or he, he values me enough. No, that's not even remotely true. Cause like I said, most men, <laughs> most men are not operating from a place of, you know, I value this woman and want to take care of her. Most men. And this isn't just a man thing, like women as well. Just most most of the population is not in a very healthy place, okay? Most of the population, man or woman, is not really someone that you would want to date if you have any uh, <laughs> self-worth at all, okay? And so 
most men are going to be doing things in a very transactional way, whether they're consciously aware of it or not. How, and so I'm going to talk about how I would show interest both back in the day and even more so now, because I've, if, if I was single, because I made a lot of changes since then, right? I'm going to show interest because I'm actually going to be communicating actively with her, right? I'm not just going to disappear for two days or three days. I'm actually showing a lot of interest just by consistency in my communication. I'm showing a lot of interest and, and interest. It's also about uh, communicating that she is valuable to me in some way, that she matters to me in some way, that she's not just someone I'm putting on a back burner for some day when I actually have a, a, a free time in my schedule because someone else canceled on me, right? Um, so, so, so there's that. Actually setting up clear, firm plans, right? Hey, you know, and th this is how I would talk to a woman. Hey, you know what? I really like you. Uh, you're a lot of fun. Um, and, and then I'd, I'd set up some kind of date, like, um, we're going to go out on uh, Friday. Tell me, uh, tell me if you're free at six or how, however it's going to go. Right. Just, but, but clear, direct, uh, creating a plan. And, you know, this is what we're doing. This is where we're going. Make sure you're ready by X time or how, however it's going to go so that she knows, okay, you know, I, I'm being led. I'm, I'm being taken care of, right? That is a form of provision. That is a form of masculine provision is just taking care of a woman so that she doesn't have to think. She doesn't have to be like, okay, does this guy like me? You know, is this actually going somewhere? Blah, blah, blah. All of that's really clear. Um, making it easy, uh, relatively easy for her to get to wherever it is that you're going. Uh, not, you know, not picking a spot that's right outside of your apartment as a man. Um, I've done that before because I, uh, I've done things that I wouldn't do anymore today, but I have done that. If a man is is doing that, then obviously that would be a bit of a red flag for a woman, and she should learn how to use feminine communication to, to communicate what's going up with her. And by the way, Polarity Masterclass, join if you haven't yet, because you're going to, and our next one is in a week, because you're going to learn how to communicate your needs and your feelings rather than stepping into your masculine and using masculine communication when problems come up and they will whether it's right away or whether it's later on uh, or going into doormat mode and just being like okay i'm just gonna go along you know play along to get along i don't want to i don't want to rock the boat any of that kind of stuff I, I don't want him to think that i'm uh high maintenance or too much to handle or or have too many expectations or whatever right you need to learn feminine communication for this it's okay to communicate all your needs and feelings, but you just need to learn how to communicate them in the right way. Okay, great question. So Ryan asks, say you've been seeing a woman off and on for a while at a recurring social gathering. You already know she's a solid fit. Would you go above and beyond in that situation or just do a normal dinner? Well, I mean, it, it's fine to. Right. Uh, there's there's definitely nothing wrong with it. Um, it, it. First of all, it OK, a few things. First of all, it has to be for the right reasons. What a lot of men get into is this idea of unconsciously or consciously trying to live up to a woman's standards that she might not even be consciously. Ex uh, she might not actually be expressing. And you might not even know that you that, that she has them. It might just be society's expectations. Like, oh, this, this is what women want. So this is what I have to do. Part of being a masculine man, a dominant man, is to throw all of that out the window. Okay. And that's what I did when I learned how to meet women and date women. Is like, okay, I need to get rid of, I, I'm just going to not care at all about what I think a woman expects of me. I'm going to just fully do what I want. Now, of course, back then I was a bit more selfish than I am now. You know, my heart's a lot bigger, more online, and I want to—I would want to take care of a woman a lot more than I than I would today. Not because I'm meeting her expectations, but because I just in, enjoy taking care of a woman. It's as simple as that. So it's got to be for that reason. A man has got to realize that he is so worthy that he is so valuable that he doesn't need to jump through any hoops 
meet any kind of expectations you're you're doing you're, you're choosing to do that just because it's like i would really like to spoil this woman and that's it coming from the frame of she's going to like me and enjoy time with me and want to be claimed by me no matter what i do no matter where i take her so that's actually oh i got to do a video on that think of that as a man Right. If you come from that perspective of she's already going to like me, she's already going to be attracted to me, she's already going to enjoy my time, her time with me, no matter what. Uh, she's already going to want to sleep with me at some point. She's already going to want to be claimed with me into a relationship. OK, if you knew that 100 percent, what would you want to do? Would you want to go above and beyond? OK, if you do, great. It's fantastic. But then it's fully your choice. You're not otherwise. Otherwise, what a man is doing is he is covertly submitting to her, her expectations or society's expectations, women's expectations. And then he's not leading. And that's what so many women do. Or sorry, that's what so many men do on these dinner dates, thinking that that's what's expected of them. Now, to be clear, I'm not anti dinner date at all. And, and there's many situations where even for a first date. I think that would be the best approach, but I would never date a woman if I was single who had that expectation. Forget it because I'm not there to meet a woman's expectations and standards. I don't care. I'm there to take care of her heart and that's it. That's what a lot of women need to understand. And, and see, this is the problem with women teaching other women about how to date you know, there, there's some women, especially in my academy program, that I, I actually think are, are fantastic with what they're doing. But the vast majority of women are too masculinized to actually teach this stuff. And that's typically why they're single or with an emasculated man. Right. And so women learn from these other women and they don't you know, they learn these rules or they, they learn this whatever to this is what makes a high value woman. No. And I don't even really speak in those terms anymore. I used to, but it's it's, it's a woman who's in a radiance. So it's a woman who is in her feminine self worth, which means she's fully connected to her needs and her feelings, and she's going to communicate them. But she's not living from this masculine place of standards of you know I will only date a man if he has X amount of money. I will only date a man if he takes me out to a nice restaurant on a first date. If you are a woman, okay, I'm just going to paint you a bit of a picture here so for, for, for women. Imagine this. You go out on a date with a man. And let's just say it's a coffee date or it's even just, you know, uh, you know, to a park or whatever. You're not even, you're, you're, you're not even spend any money, okay? Imagine that he has been so consistent talking to you. They so consistent with setting up plans, with being on time, with making your life easier. You can feel like, and he's a really masculine man too. He's like, you know, you, you can just feel his presence. You can feel his care. You can feel his backbone. And, and then you go out and you can feel how present he is with you. And he's just so interested in you. And he's so interested in opening you up and getting to know you. And making you feel like the most special woman in the world. Making you feel this like, oh my God, he's like, he really likes me. Not in a weak way, but like in a truly dominant way. And oh my God, I want to be claimed by him. Oh, I want to be kissed by him. I want to, you know, whatever. Did you need a dinner date to, to, feel how important you are to him no okay it's not relevant and feminine women truly feminine women don't care now there is a problem okay and i'm i it's only fair how are we doing for time 19 minutes well we're gonna keep going here it's only fair to address this problem as well and that problem is this there's also going to be keeping in mind that the pool of men just everywhere, there's going to be many, 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 many bad apples. There's going to be a big pool of men 
who will take a woman out on a coffee date because he let's say he's been brainwashed indoctrinated by the red pill community now it doesn't have to be this it could just be he's selfish in general but today this is going to be something that women very commonly encounter and so it's very important that they're aware of it and they understand understand why this is going to be a problem so what do they teach in the, when i say red pill right it's the it's the movement of men that have probably been burned by women before they realize that submitting to a woman's expectations and letting a woman lead and all of this stuff it's not going to work out well for them and of course it's a very wide group of men and some are much more victimy than others but almost pretty much the entire thing a whole manosphere red pill community for the most part i'm not saying 100 percent, but for the most part is being trained at least subtly training men at least subtly into this kind of victim mindset into this kind of subtle manipulation thing that they're not even consciously aware of yeah like man go your own way movement same same thing uh migtow that's part of it right that's a subsection of the red pill manosphere thing so so one of the things that they're trained in and by the way i was as well because you know i'm an ex-pickup artist i've done that whole thing i've li i've been part of that community for a long time and i have a, a, a pretty good idea of what's involved in in many aspects of it, many different parts of it so this idea of okay a man who's so high value that he shouldn't put in any value he should take you know take a woman to a garbage dump to show how high value he is uh, take a woman to, um, <laughs> I'm just trying to think of like the worst places ever to take a woman. I, so I've done this. I've literally taken women to the Sears couching department, uh, many, many times because I'm, and this was part just, I wanted to build this belief in myself that I actually am worthy. It was just like, okay, this is, uh, this doesn't cost anything. And, uh, I'm showing such, uh, that, that, that it doesn't even matter. Uh, taking a woman shopping with you, whatever your errands are, just take her there and, and just do, do that. Right. And just like with women, it's like the, it's like the exact mirror reflection of what w these women are teaching other women with, Oh, you, he's got to take you on a, on, on a expensive dinner date or, or a, a nice dinner date. Right. The mere reflect because because that shows that you are high value as a woman. So he's got to take you on a nice dinner date. The mere reflection of that in the red pill community is you got to take her on the shittiest date possible. <laughs> I'm kind of being extreme here, but this kind of is what it is. The like lowest commitment, lowest uh, anything kind of date be to, to show how high value are value you are that you you don't even really care about her at all and so the good part about that is is it can help just like with women you know there, there's some value in all of this and and there's some truth in all of this in, in all of this show so it shows a man or teaches a man okay the value that i am offering is intrinsic in myself it's not about my wallet. It's not about the fancy thing that I am giving her. It is about me. Okay. And that's really important. That is a good thing. Okay. That is a really, really great thing for a man to believe because it's true. It, what matters is, is him, his presence, his personality, his, his confidence, his leadership, you know, doesn't matter where he's taking her. So that's all really good. And, and I'm really glad that the red pill community is teaching men that. And I'm, and I'm very grateful that I learned that myself. But, but, it's really only half the picture, right? It's like a man who finds his power, he finds his self-worth. But what about his heart, right? And that's where I got stuck for long as I got so much focused on my self-worth, my power, and, and kind of really starting to believe that, okay, I'm better than a woman in some way. That's not healthy, okay? Because the healthy mindset for a man is, you know, I'm the leader. I'm the leader. Um, 
I am worthy of being the leader. The woman's not going to tell me what to do. I'm not going to be submitting to her expectations in any way. But I want to, um, you know, I want to fill her heart with joy. I want to show her that she's special to me and that she matters to me and that I value her and that I value her time and all of that. And so the problem with the coffee date, this can be an issue that women can encounter, is a lot of men who have that red pill mindset of, you know, I'm going to just not really go put in any effort into this because doesn't matter at all. It's that kind of stingy, selfish, self-focused, man is better than woman kind of mindset. And so what's the answer? What's the answer to this? It's like, got all these men, you know, the, the dinner dates, you know, most are just going to be interested in uh, taking a woman into the bedroom and impressing her. And they're just like the, the brainwashed modern man that blah, blah, blah. And then you got the coffee date guys. And I'm just super generalizing here. Okay. Super, super generalizing. But the guys that, you know, are like, they're not going to put in a ton of effort to a woman that he doesn't even know yet. And he wants to make sure that, or sorry, he's either indoctrinated into the red pill stuff, which is a problem. Um, and, and you're just, how are you going to know? How are you going to know? How are you going to know what to do? What what should be the rule here? Should you do the coffee date? Should you only do dinner dates? Should you only do coffee dates? Because all you know, most of the men doing dinner dates are a problem. Blah blah blah. What's a woman to do in a modern world with so much BS, with so many indoctrinated men, with so many rules that uh, masculinized women are are telling them to follow to be a, a high value woman? That's really overwhelming, and that's really confusing, and that can lead a woman to feel kind of paralyzed as far as like what what's even the point like this is just too confusing here's what i'll tell you you got to learn feminine communication right because even just from this video here's why this is so important and yes i'm going to be talking about the master class because you definitely absolutely do need to do the master class uh if you if you haven't taken it yet so that you can really understand this and learn this and see how transformative it is but the reason why before we get into that, you know, feminine communication, it's so important because just learning this video or listening to this video, if you hadn't felt it before, you're realizing, oh my God, there's like so much to this. And, you know, you don't want to waste your time as a woman. You also don't want to be devalued as a woman. You also don't want to be, you know, going on a date that's just uh, using you to, to sleep with or, or um, is basically manipulating you or whatever it is, playing games, all, ugh. So much garbage that a woman has to deal with. And of course, it's going to bring up certain feelings for you. But guess what? When you get fully and you once you fully know what your needs are, right? And you, do, of course, you do need to be uh, valued. And you need, do need to be taken care of. And you do need to, you know, not have your time wasted. And you do need a man who's being honest with you and is clear with his intentions and is consistent. And a whole bunch, you know, reassurance and a whole bunch of other stuff. Once you know what you need, and, you, and you're very in touch with your feelings, you get very in touch with your feelings. What you can do is you can communicate everything that comes up. Even right from the beginning. You will start to real and this is one of the things that women in our academy program uh, that, that we work with really start to realize that they don't need to hide any of this stuff, all these feelings and, and needs that they have, even right from the beginning. It's interesting to healthy masculine men and they care and they want to give reassurance and it actually compels them more into integrity and into um, and into being a better man and into sometimes changing his behavior if if he, he deems it necessary or helpful or whatever else. Right. Instead of staying silent, instead of thinking that you have to figure all this stuff out for yourself and and analyze everything and what uh, what's going on and blah 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 no you just need to use feminine communication to share all of this with a man even right from the beginning and then you'll very quickly start to realize what kind of man you are dealing with you learn how to do this you learn how to implement like 10 percent or 20 percent of what i teach 
and you are in the like five percent like top five percent category of women okay because women don't know this in general now what we're teaching though with the communication understand it's not just about the communication we're teaching you how to fully open into your self-worth as a woman right we were talked to talking about the whole high value thing okay women are really messed up with this high value thing we're, we're showing you how to fully open up into yourself where so that you feel it like on a on the deepest level you feel your value you know your value not in this masculine way not in this standard way like having standards but in this beautiful heart-based feminine way that a man is going to be able to feel and instead of him living up to your expectations or standards or whatever it's just like you know he's looking well say like looking down at you not in a condescending way, but in a way of like, I want to cherish her. I want to take care of her. I want to spoil her. I want to show her a good time because, she, oh, she just deserves it. She just deserves to feel special. I would love to do that. I would love to put that smile on her face. I would love to fill her heart up with gratitude. And that's it. That's the change. That shifts over time as you learn your communication. Uh, sorry, sorry, learn how to shift your communication um, and, and, and actually do it and actually do it over and over and over again and, and go from where you are now. Imagine this future woman who like you are withholding nothing, just like your heart is on your sleeve all the time. You're also willing to flow away when you're when you know you're getting less than you deserve. When a man's not putting in the effort, he's not willing to change. And, and otherwise, you're just expressing everything that comes up. You're not hiding yourself in any kind of way. You're free. Imagine being that free. Imagine not having to be guessing all the time and walking on eggshells and, and trying to perform in some kind of way to, to, to be worthy, to be high value, to keep him to avoid abandonment, all this kind of stuff. This is what can shift for you. Whether you're single right now or whether you're dating someone or whether you're in a committed relationship with someone, this is what will help you shift. This is how you fully get into your self-worth and free yourself. And, you know, the, yeah, those are the personal benefits and inspire man into fully taking care of you. And the next step is to join our next masterclass. We got two this month. Next one's in a month. Or sorry, the next one is in a week. The next one's at the end of October. ClarityMasterclass.com. It's going to be a two-hour uh, event that's just going to blow your mind where we are going to teach you everything about feminine communication. And then we're going to role play it for you, show you what it looks like in different situations. So you're going to learn how to communicate your needs and feelings and in, in different ways. And, um, and then we'll take questions. And then you will take what you learn and you can literally immediately implement that into your love life, whatever you're dealing with right now, and start getting better results. ClarityMasterclass.com. Go sign up. I'll see you on the masterclass. That's it for this video.